Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I've been requested to do a cooking video and this is called the five layer casserole. Let's get started. Reason I picked it, number one, five ingredients or less. Number two, my daughter requested it. Number three, it is one of the easiest, fastest things. What I want you to do is time me on how fast I can do this. I had some leftover of these containers, so I'm using that. I sprayed it. Most of these five layer casseroles, they want you to brown the meat ahead of time, which just takes extra time. This is so easy, you're going to be amazed. I put some ground beef, or you can use ground turkey, in this pan. Now, I use lean ground beef, and I was gifted some, which I'm very grateful. What I did is I'm layering in here, and I split that beef up into different packets, so that way it will not be, it will last a lot longer because I'm not using as much meat as I normally would. So the first thing you do is lay down your meat inside the pan after greasing it. Then you take one can of drained French beans. So I'm not sure if I'll use all of that. I think last time I did because it's actually really good. Okay, then you layer the green beans, but I did drain them. Okay, then after that it says to take a cup and a half, and I don't measure, I just put in here, of mozzarella cheese. And you can see how fast this is taking me. Like I said, my daughter really enjoys this. This is hearty. And it's good warming up. You guys have some foods that you enjoy, but you don't really care for them warmed up or as a leftover. I'd like to hear about it below because I've noticed some things are not as good. Then you put one can of cream of mushroom. You put this in here. And this is a very hearty dish. And you can kind of spread it around. You don't have to put any liquid in here. Then you put some tater tots on top. You just lay them on top. That's it. And I'll show you what this looks like afterwards. No, this is not low fat or low sodium. Let's just be honest. But you know what, guys? It's Sometimes I understand it's good to eat healthy, but guess what? It's a lot of times it's about the portions we eat. I've had several friends in the past, and even now, that they're not overweight at all. They don't, they eat things like this, but what it is is they eat about half of what everyone else eats. Okay, so then you do this, and so this is what I have on here. I'm going to bake this at 350 for about an hour, and I'm going to put it in here. Now, this wasn't on the recipe, but I have some extras of these. So guess what? I'm also going to put some of these on towards the end of the baking because I really enjoyed these and I thought it would give a nice extra crunch. So I will be back to show you what this it looks like afterwards. But this is so easy and so quick, guys. I highly recommend it. Everyone in the family loves it. And let me know what you're making this week. This is Money Mom signing off. I love you. Hello, everybody. This is Money Mom coming at you with a heart-healthy dish. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I've had a long day, guys, if y'all only knew. Anyway, I had to show you what this is. Yes, it's quick and easy. For anyone that says, Dawn, this is not healthy. It's full of packaged products and, and sodium and all that stuff. Guess what? You're right. But this was something quick and easy. My daughter requested it because it's a, a hearty meal that warms her little tum-tum. And guess what? She's a little skinny thing that can eat whatever she wants, it seems. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm going to upload this video. Hopefully, this will be a recipe that you guys can make if you would like a little bit. By the way, some good news before I sign off. Last night I did Pilates and tonight my husband and I are taking an exercise class together. Anyway, I will tell you guys more about it after the class. Love you guys. Bye.